All right, let's talk. Let's talk then, because we got yeah. some serious stuff to talk about. Yeah. First off, this is. Um, I'm interested to see what you think about this. Yeah. So, are you familiar hey, with? I think it's called the the 15 percent pledge. Did you do you know what this is? No. So this was a, I think, quite 2020 sort of uh, uh, effort, right? Uh-huh. Um, where there was a movement, a, a very, I think, well-meaning one to get fashion retailers to devote 15% of their shelf space to uh, pieces by designers of color. Mm-hmm. I mean, good idea, right? Makes sense to me. It seems like a noble cause. So here's the thing. Yeah. Uh, I did mention that it it's well-meaning, but maybe it wasn't super effective. Like Uh-oh. judging by this this write-up, uh, there were quite a few retailers that signed up to the pledge. They said, we're going to get there. We're going to stock 15%. And yeah. n- nobody's even close to that. Like they're just, they said they would buy the pieces from these uh, brands of color and they, they just, that haven't done it. <laughs> um, um, and, and I want to say for anybody who is listening or has received this broadcast through an alien transmission, we're showing an Instagram post online. We do this um, as a stream on YouTube. If you're true. only listening, you should watch us every Thursday at eight um, because we've got on screen. So hashtag or uh, at 15% pledge. Um, it, so it was grown, it was growed out of this designer, Aurora James. I, I'm not totally familiar with her, but I assume she's the woman featured in this shot. The 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 crux is what? That that basically uh designers of color were arguing that that brands Yeah, are- so here here's the poll quote. Only a few signatories, including Sephora, have given updates on how many black owned brands they carry. None has declared it's met its pledge goal. Mm. Uh, so with this this pledge, they are shifting from just saying, hey, make sure you're stocking 15% uh, Black-owned brands. And they're starting to emphasize the need for long-term structural changes over quick fixes. And I think my, my question to you is, yeah. why didn't this work out as planned? Well, it's a lofty idea, right? Let's... Uh- back up i mean if you're only listening as well uh you should know killian and i are white men the 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 villains of society true Um, but even as a white man i can say (laughs) i can like go well you know what i mean like that sounds that sounds like it could be valuable the argument was that 15 percent of americans are uh black so Why don't you show that kind of representation in retailers since you're going to have those customers, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah. My immediate thought is to stick a number like 15% and tell retailers like, do this. It, it, it's going to be like uh, uh, nearly impossible for them. And, and, yeah. And even if they have good intentions, which I don't think they do, um, they're, they're going to struggle to meet that because they have so many other like coconuts hitting them on the head of things that they have to do or products mm-hmm. that they need to sell just to stay afloat. And to throw in like a variable, 15% is a massive amount of their entire retail. Uh, for them, yeah. they, it has to be not the other parameters that actually make a difference to us, which is like, do, does it sell? What are the margins? It has to be this other uh, uh, like X factor of brand started by somebody of color which is fraught in itself. I, I think that the, the obvious yeah. first thing is that it was hard to do because it was a really ambitious goal with mm-hmm. no obvious kind of through line as to how to achieve it. In, in yeah. Our system at it. So I, th- I think it's one of those things that worked. It got so many uh, retailers to sign up to it because it's easy and it has that kind of social justice bent and it's saleable, right? Uh, it's a, hey, 15% population, 15% shelf space. Why not? The fact that you're not already doing that is wrong. It's a wrong that you need to right, you know? And so I'm yeah. going to sound very like lefty, like internet pill right here. Ew. And, but I think that that solution is like, 
the going for the equality rather than the equity. Equity. Right? Hell yeah. Because it's just going for the pure 15%, 15% instead of looking at like why is it so hard or or unfathomable to think of having 15% of these brands in our stores. Yeah. They're, they are because it makes sense like they should. So really you should be asking why aren't they and what can we do to fix that from more of a ground level? I, I think that fundamentally pledge is like, it, it, it's probably the toothless of things yeah. to sign up for. They all do agree to the pledge and probably most of them recognize that they would never reach it. They just wanted their name to yeah. like, and we care about you. But but it, it is such a difficult task. It's like I I know I put together like collections, say for different holidays, celebrating different peoples, and even that, even like like when you have a bunch of people in that demographic, it, mm -hmm. it, it just I mean like products or designers, it, mm -hmm. it's hard to make it all work because you're adding a new like search term to like what is for right. Um, but I, I, I think that it's, it's kind of like a cynical thing and it, it just seems kind of like obvious to me that it didn't work because it was just right. off and because mm -hmm. that's not the problem, you know, it, it, the problem right. That, right. That, 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 that they're not getting shelf space. The, the problem is probably that the only people who have the, even uh, the remote possibility to ever yeah. be in a position to be selling things as a designer, mm -hmm. um, it's much it's a much smaller group of people who are not if you know white <laughs> right <laughs> but, well let's end this on a positive note and maybe think if if they're shifting focus what would be the most valuable places to shift to like i think if just just spitballing here you know just brainstorming no bad ideas right no bad um, ideas. i think scholarship yeah replace make a lot of oh, oh no uh, scholarships would make a lot of sense, mm. maybe even pushing, uh, making sure that there are people of color as faculty in these schools where people are going. Uh, uh, uh. affirmative action is illegal now, Killian. Did you, hey, do you not get out of here? The news? Get out of here. Out of here. It's illegal. Yeah. Um, helping yeah. maybe grants, helping with sourcing so that people, when they have the idea for a good brand, they can actually follow through on it. That's a really hard piece. I don't know. Okay. What do you think? I think that realistically, the, 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 the companies are companies and they run on money and their only goal is money. And yeah. that's reality. And the parameters should have been something more like we will go, we, our effort is to, to explore or try X amount mm -hmm. of it by X people. And yeah. there has to be a parameter where it's like the ones that, and we'll keep the ones that sell. Like, because uh, it, it has to sell at the end of the day. It has to sell. It has to be yeah. a product that people want to go and buy, or it's not. You know, it's not just like virtue signaling. It's also like yeah. there's no reality where it's gonna work. It's like if I, yeah. if Boeing was like, send in your submissions for plane yeah. ideas, and right, you know, nobody's any ones that work. Things like this, because executives, they're very dumb people. I know this firsthand. I know you know this as well, uh -huh. which means that things like this can occasionally do more harm than good. Because if some of these retailers tried this and it failed tremendously, every black owned brand they brought in didn't sell at all. There are some people out there that are going to say, we tried that, didn't work, throw it out, never again. We you know what I mean? We tried giving you uh, quality. <laughs> Literally. Literally, these, they're yeah. terrible people. It's not a good thing. It's just a reality, you it's know? It's a reality. I mean, you ever meet an old person? They're stuck in their ways. But I guess that's the positive. The positive flip is this. If they were ever going to do that, it has to be something that actually, like, makes sense for them, you know? Mm -hmm. Because, like, I don't know. Not quid pro quo. And I know we want to move on to the next thing. Yeah. But just, like, you're, it's a retailer they would only agree to things that would allow them to sell more things. So there has right. to be like a, it has to be like, if you do this, I'll give you this. There, there has to be some kind of structure that is profitable for them that isn't just the virtue signaling of getting their name on a list. That's all they wanted was the name. There has to be capitalism within the capitalism. 
There needs to be a supply and demand for the supply and demand here. Yeah, you because, know? because rich people or, or executives, they're not going to make a decision out of guilt. They're not going to do it. To no. Do it, they, 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 that's not going to work on them. Yeah, true.